Things I wish I knew in my 20s. Ah! It's not as firm as it's it was. It will be a whole new world. I this love is probably about my fifth bottle. Aging yeah. gracefully, staying here. Okay, I look snatched like. <laughs> and look forward to your 30s. Yeah! <laughs> a one, a two, a one, two, three, four. We're all my soul sisters. Let me hear y'all flow, sister. Hey, sister, go, sister, soul, sister. <laughs> you got it! Yes! Obviously. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your sister Union in the house today, and I have a very special guest, Marie! Hi! You're We're reunited. Yes! You've probably <laughs> seen her a lot in my Olive Young series. But Marie, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Marie. I'm the founder of Beauty and Soul. We are an online store curating K-beauty for UK and Europe. Since 2016, we have over 25 of my favorite K-beauty brands. Yes, and <laughs> most of them you will know which brands they are and that you will absolutely adore especially my unicorns in England and where elsewhere and Europe and Europe <laughs> I think you guys will be very happy to hear about that we're gonna talk a little bit about the products that she does sell on her site and also some of her favorite products because today we thought it would be a really good topic to talk about <laughs> anti-aging yes aging yeah. gracefully because yeah. we are on your on these right here <laughs> are similar age right mm -hmm. how, how old are you uh i'm nearly 36 36 mm -hmm. are you born 1987 87 <laughs> my younger sister <laughs> <Onni. laughs> so i am actually born in 1986 so i am 37 korean age so Onni ya, Yuni Onni. I need to respect my elder. <laughs> respect my elder. Yo, Onni, Sanani, yo. <laughs> yeah, so we thought it would be really fun to talk about some of the ingredients that we love, some mm -hmm. of the products that we love, and also some of the devices that yes. we love. Because sometimes we need that extra something when you're hitting your mid 30s. Gonna feel like we're at the spa. Spa! <laughs> you gotta pamper yourself a little bit. So, all right, guys, let's get started. Okay, so do you wanna start with one ingredient or like one product that you absolutely adore for your, um, for you to be able to grace? gracefully age gracefully age yes so one of my favorite ingredients is kombucha mm. Mm. so this beauty here is the dr kirikal this is their vegan kombucha tea essence mm -hmm. It's actually like a milky essence toner. I think it would be enough for combination skin types to use. Definitely. I personally have dry skin, just to caveat that. Yeah. Oh, I, I love that you mentioned your skin yeah. type. Oh. I think that's important because mm -hmm. it took me so long to actually figure out my skin type because yeah. I feel like everyone defaults to, I have combination skin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for and sure. No, I have, I have really dry skin, so mm. I need to use really hydrating ingredients. But kombucha is fermented tea and is mm -hmm. just a really great anti-aging um, ingredient. I find it's deeply nourishing. It just helps give my skin that plump finish. Yeah. You know, I want to look like I've got that collagen still intact. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Please, por favor. Yeah, so I have, I mean, you can see I've bought the remnants of what I have left in this bottle for Korea. This I is love probably that. about my fifth bottle. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, is this okay? So this one usually has like a brown color to yes. it, right? Yeah. Before mixing it up, mm -hmm. and I remember Sue and I first got to try this because of our like program we did, mm -hmm. and we're like, "What the freak? Why didn't we know about Doctor Suticals? Uh, and also, also, why didn't we try this before? Because it's it kind of reminded me of the I'm from Rice toner, right? Right. But right. this one was more like nourishing and all. Yeah. And it didn't leave a more of a oilier finish. No, no, no. Yeah, no. I, I really liked this one. It's yeah. a really good one. And actually, mm. if you have oily skin, it's even just enough to use this in a light gel and you are done. Yeah. For I, enough hydration. For sure. I was going to say, if you have oily dehydrated skin, I think you're going to love it for the upcoming oh, up fall. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. Highly recommend. But kombucha absolutely is one of my favorite. It's also in the Vegan Glow kombucha toner, which also contains mm. PHA. So that mm. would be a really good kombucha product to use if you've got skin on the oilier side. Yeah, yeah. 
my dry skin needs this one. Mm, I think my unicorns will be happy to hear about this one because I didn't talk about it on my channel. Oh, yet, really? So they'll love mm. this one. Um, okay, so one of the things we I was like, babe, let's talk about this. Okay, what is the difference you see the most, like skin skin wise, in your twenties and thirties, or like hitting mid thirties, like? So for me, uh -huh. my skin type is definitely drier. Dry. Mm -hmm. In my twenties, I felt like. I definitely still had oiliness around yeah. my like mm -hmm, nose mm -hmm, area. Mm -hmm. And I, I would say, like, I don't, this isn't necessarily a skin change. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. feel more confident in myself in my 30s. Oh my gosh, I was gonna, <laughs> you're like saying the positive things right now. Okay, okay, I'm on your page now. You feel more confident in your skin. Yeah. I love that, I love that. Even oh. though it's like, I probably had firmer, skin in my 20s that's true that's true i think i know my skin now i know what works for it i know what yeah. doesn't i like to take care of it more in my 30s and yeah. i think as a result of that then i just feel more confident in my own skin and i think that's ultimately what you want to achieve exactly right? i think i was gonna say all the negatives right now so i'll say that after this but <laughs> <laughs> i think from the positives i so know what you mean because now i know like even if my skin gets like fucked up one day i'm like whatever it'll get better because i know I've experienced it, right? So you're like, it's okay. It too shall pass. Yeah. Like I know right now my skin is not in a good state, but I know that if I do take care of it in certain way, because you already have your own little know-how now. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's why you feel Absolutely. more confident and more kind of secure. You're like, it will get better. So definitely yeah. I feel more confident in my mm. skin too. Not necessarily to mention that it it's not better. No. <laughs> it's not better though. That's why I was, I was like, yeah, yeah. I probably have better skin in my 20s. For sure. I just take better care of it maybe now exactly. in my 30s. <laughs> okay, so after I talk about my product, we will talk about the negative. <laughs> the negative changes you I mean, feel in your 20s and 30s. We've got a lot of them as well. We, we have a lot of them. We were talking about that. Okay, but what's your um, favorite? What do you okay, mean? so this one is like an OG product. This is the Claire's Midnight Blue Youth Activating Draw. Love this one. This one is just like a very simple product. I would say I love the ingredients in here. It has mm. like um, peptides in here. It has EGF. It has all the antioxidants, like blueberries, whatever. But it's very simple. It only has like a total of 10 ingredients. Yeah. But the best part is that it's so super watery yeah like, i was just about to say the mm -hmm. consistency of this one is gorgeous okay so moving on to the next one i thought this was very important so when you hit your 20s and 30s one of the things is that sometimes you feel like you need a little bit of extra help <laughs> of the <laughs> lifting right of the lifting you just feel like the gravity hitting yeah and then you feel a bit of the sagginess you really learned what that is it's not as firm as it's it not. was it's not <laughs> like you know when you wear glasses or like the like sleeping marks it lasts for a longer time yeah i feel like you could literally see in cameras and pictures of a little bit of like in korean we say bulldog like a slang word is like bulldog like right here it looks like the bulldog right so like that right here and the left lines i mean don't get us wrong i mean aging gracefully it's something that it's inevitable we're all gonna age but yeah. i feel like whatever you can to kind of age in a beautiful way it's, yeah. it's, it's a good choice to have right so and it's it's nice just to like look after your skin for it's sure, for fun sure. right we get yeah. to use exciting tools and products exactly <laughs> and it's just that therapeutical kind of healing process to, yeah. to it so the next uh, set of products we want to talk about are ex like the extras that's some some so, <laughs> like, so, 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 I'm like, I love that. I love that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it's actually devices. Mm -hmm. Oh, what kind of products did you bring today? So, I mean, I'm traveling to mm -hmm. Korea at the moment. So yeah. I've packed only a few things. But what I find, especially when I'm traveling, mm -hmm. I just get so puffy, like sore. Yeah. Maybe I just hold a lot of tension in my no, face. No, no, no. I know what you mean. Like, because when that's an age thing as well yeah you start lacking like like overall oh blood gosh. circulation yeah there's aches it where does we never had aches before i know <laughs> i feel you on that one like here, here. Oh. so i actually have some more mechanical devices Ooh. so the first one you tried this haven't you the love video of jason guasha absolutely this love this one 
the reason why I love it is because there's just different ends that you can use. Yeah. I actually like using this like by my neck. Mm -hmm. I was using it on the plane, like this two prong here, like yeah. on my shoulder. I like using it specifically under this area. Mm -hmm. It's also bigger than a lot of the traditional style yeah. or other ones that you've yeah. seen, but I cracked so many of them by like brain words because this one's just Sturdy, sturdy and bigger i yeah. just find it's a lot easier to use so absolutely love this one in terms of like mm -hmm. facial massage stimulating that area and just giving like before an event i just think it just feels a little bit nice to give myself yeah. a little lift love this one love and then one. this one is a tool <gasps> that they used on my skin in the troy adake spa oh is and there in Hongdae. Ah, the new place Hongdae is it's so beautiful. nice. It's so oh much better gosh. than the Myeongdong one. I oh, yeah. loved it. it was so, <gasps> and my skin was glowing for days. Yeah. And they used this cupping device. What? I was gonna, <laughs> I told her it's, it, it looks like the, what do you call that? The period? Rubber period? A period cup. Period cut. That's I what know. it looked like. She's like, why have you got this out? <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean it's for anti-aging? <laughs> it's like, um, um. <laughs> no, oh. it's a little cupping tool. And so what no. I will do is, oh, look, can I film you? Should okay. I film you? Okay. It, you kind of squeeze the end. It's made from silicone. It might not work on my hand, oh. actually. It's probably my face, but it just gives that kind of <gasps> sucking oh. feeling. So, for example, I mean, it's staying here. Okay. But you, the idea is that you do it this way on your cheeks, forehead, under eye, and it's the kind of. Oh, it's pretty same, strong. Same like facial. It, it, you wouldn't think it would be that strong, but yeah. you really can feel it. Yeah. So I like to use it after my night cream mm -hmm. and I'll just spend a few minutes just going around. So I do that and it's and just, true. yeah. It's, <gasps> it's pretty strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the idea is you like pull it along. Oh, and it goes, it goes. Yeah. Like, so okay. it's better when you have like a product just so you don't you're not damaging the skin by dragging it. Mm. It's kind of like going effortlessly. But it's I like that. the same, I guess, theory as um a facial massage. Ooh, uh, I, yeah. I wanna try this. Try out a K, I love mm. them for um especially their spas too, but yeah. they're like a brand that's made from an esthetician, right? Yeah. So they have all of this history and know-how. And I love their like ASIN line. If you have oh, acne prone too. skin, do you guys sell that so on your good. site? Yeah, we sell Triadica. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It was one of the first brands I knew I wanted to curate. Yeah. Really underrated right. products. They're really good quality. But yeah. like you said, their whole accent range is so good. So good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Oh, so I have to check that out. Mm -hmm. But this okay. is really handy for traveling as well because oh that's true it's, it's light, light it's and just it's easy. easy yeah i i mean i'm glad you mentioned that because the uh, devices that i will mention these i had to put them in the carry-ons because yeah. it has like batteries in them yeah. and stuff like that so that was like the annoying part about it if you do think about it, it's kind of hard to travel with but i've been loving devices from medicube we talked about this like medicube like this they're going crazy oh, yeah. yeah like yeah. Killing it. And they're like collaborating with so many big global influencers. We were like, oh shoot, that's that's crazy. crazy. In yeah. the stage, she was talking about them. Um, I know. Amazing. I mean, my discount code is like 10%, but hers was like 40%. So I was like, yo, my unicorns, get on that. Really? Like, it's much better than mine, dude. You know what I'm saying? So. I think she talked about the devices she liked, um, but I uh, love this one right here. This is the HR ATS AirShot. This one, I already have a whole video um, on it, but this one works like a micro needling kind of way. So mm. whatever you use afterwards, it's gonna soak in like four times better, like yeah. much better into your skin. And I feel like this one also goes with the Clear's Midnight uh, activating oh, drop yeah, really yeah. well, or you can use it with any of the products that you already have at home. Mm. And this one, it's just really easy. There's no pain, except for sometimes it does have that like little zap like when it does burn like your peach fuzz a little bit. Right. So it's like nothing, nothing. And then like maybe in one session, you might be like, oh, what was that? Like a little sting. But this one is really good. I was like talking about this yeah, too. Yeah, um, I was like, Marie. I want it. Yeah, this one's <laughs> really nice, you guys. And they have like this program where if you sign up as membership or something like that, you can um, get really high discount. So you guys can check it out. I'll leave it in the description. This one is something that I am testing out at the moment. One of the things that I wanted to mention is 
because I am in my mid thirties and because I do get other procedures um, from the dermatologist, mm. besides my skincare products, I got Ulcera recently, like three months ago or two months ago. Yeah, I do get lifting lasers at times. Um, I want to actually highly recommend it. Of course, you do have to consult with the doctor and it does really matter what your skin type is or concern is at the moment mm -hmm. and like what, what kind of doctor it is, what kind of machines that they do have. But I feel like those things, those like extra treatments, it really helps after like in the end of your 20s and like yeah. yeah 30s mid 30s it definitely makes a difference there are certain things of course you need to do daily with your skincare products but there is a reason why that there are other etc treatments but this one has very similar effects as um ulcera but i would have to say i need to actually use this a little bit longer and i am testing it out i'm doing an after actually on the end of this month 29th because i wanted to use this at least for two yeah. months to be able to see the results actually, See and then I wanted to give you a good review on it but mm. I like I was telling Marie I was like yo but I don't know if it's working but I look good on camera I was telling her that's like, how you know that's how you know I was like hey I'm gaining weight but on camera I look I look snatched like <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I was like, Murray, I don't know if it's this, but I think it's working, but I'll tell you at the end of this month. <laughs> she was telling me before we found I was like, sold. I need, yeah. I need both. All right, guys, so we will be talking about the next set of products that we felt like was really nice to share. What do you have with us today? So I brought a wash-off mask, mm -hmm. which... I mean, anyone can use any age, uh -huh. but it has one of my favorite ingredients, which is rice. I just love rice. I know. <laughs> to eat and to put on my skin. <laughs> She's a big foodie like me, like us. Yeah. So yeah. we know what's up. We yeah. know what's up. We know what good ri white rice can do yeah, for you. White mm -hmm. rice. Mm -hmm. I just think it's hydrating. It's brightening. Yeah. It, it's just a great ingredient that I think works for everyone. Um, this is the House of Doha rice brand wash off mask Ooh. and I because I love rice I've probably tried every rice mask that exists. Wow. And the consistency of this one is just so lovely. I could I find some rice masks a little abrasive yeah. sometimes. Yeah. This is so finely milled and it smells amazing. Mmm. Yeah. It's not strong. It, it's almost like oh it's like wooden tea. Oh, like a like, like burnt right? rice kind of cooked yeah, burnt it's, rice. It's, oh, it's just I absolutely love it. It's and warm, but it's yeah. not sweet. Oh, I love and it's, that. It's more like a souffle lightweight wow. texture. Uh -huh. And I just absolutely <gasps> love this one. This feels so nice. And the grains, it's so, it's so soft. It's milled. not. <gasps> wow, I love this babe. So there's three masks in the range. There's a mung bean and there's um, a pumpkin Ooh. mask, which is more like a gel mask for if you've got very dry skin. But I just love this one because I feel like it would work for those with oilier skin types mm. where you're looking to kind of refine pores, yeah. you know, balance out your oil levels. But also for dry skin types like me, just to give. You know, as you get older, skin can look a little bit dull. Yeah, like every day. Like, yeah. what's up with that? <laughs> no, no, it's. Depressing. What is up? It's so normal, though, you guys. It's, yeah. You you sometimes have good days, good skin days. Most oh. of the days it's like shit, but you're like, <laughs> meh. <laughs> you get over it. You're like, meh. It's okay. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like if I just fancy giving my skin a treat or yeah. I just want it to have a little bit more pep in my skin, yeah. then a rice mask is really lovely. And this is my ultimate favorite. I mean, my other thing was retinol. Right. A lot of people know this as a good anti-aging ingredient. Yeah. The reason why I've picked this one, so this is the Beauty of Joseon, this is their ginseng and retinol cream. Love this, love this. This one is made with like liposome technology, so it means that it's really gentle mm -hmm. derivative of retinol. So if you've got sensitive skin, this is great. It is an eye cream, but mm -hmm. honestly, you could use it as a serum. Like I bring it down to here, I bring it up here. Yeah. And I think because it is in liposomes, it is retinol, and it's got the added ginseng. Yeah. It just makes for a super nice, mm -hmm. lightweight introduction mm. to um, retinol products. It's, it's so nice. It's like a serum almost. Yeah. And like she mentioned, because you can use it on different areas, I feel like you can use it on your eye area. Mm -hmm. I use it on my forehead, laugh lines, just the whole yeah. shebang. And honestly, it's hard to 
find a good product like retinol products or retinol products or whatever. Yeah. Especially if it's it's hard to find gentle ones, honestly, yes. because I my my skin is so like sensitive. It, and my skin's not really used to it yet. So mm. it's hard for me to find one that doesn't make my skin peel or right. like that doesn't irritate my skin that I can actually continuously use. Yeah. This is like one of the few products that um, I can use and I love. And I feel like even if you have milia prone skin, I think you'll be able to use this because yeah. the retinol can actually help with your milia to remove that as well at the same time. And I feel like because it's a light texture, yeah. even if you have milia prone skin, you, won't, you don't have to worry about it like causing milia or anything like that. So yeah, I love this one too. Very lightweight. Mm. And I love ginseng as another ingredient as well. Oh my so. God. <laughs> Gosh, yeah. love ginseng. <laughs> so I also wanted to talk about a uh, product. Not this is not a specific product, okay. but I want to highly recommend that everybody gets in this kind of habit of using this category of products. Mm. And I know it can get a little bit tricky, but they are modeling masks. Mm. And I every facial, like when you went to Toronto Case Facial, what did you finish off with? A soothing modeling mask. Exactly. And I had laser last week. And what did they finish up with? Modeling mask. <laughs> Every type of freaking treatment that you will get, they usually finish off with a modeling mask. And I feel like there is a reason why they do that. And you know, modeling masks actually have very different alternatives you can get a whole bag they're super cheap they're like 12 bucks or like 15 bucks and um this one is separately packaged but they're usually like a whole bag and mm. you can just scoop it up and make your own they are annoying though for you to add in the mixture of water and the powder together and just formulating that yourself because sometimes like you're just too lazy so <laughs> that's when i actually go for a sheet mask a little yeah. bit yeah. But I feel like there's a reason why we use mm. these kind of category of products, especially in skincare clinics. They want to make sure they calm your skin really well. They want to make sure that you lock in all the goodness that yes. you've just done, you know? Mm. And well, how does your skin feel like after a modeling mask? Like, oh, it's just such a nice treat. I mean, like a lot of them are cooling. Yeah. So that's why they use them after laser treatments because of sure. that heat. It just mm -hmm. like brings it back down to reduce inflammation. For me, I get redness around um, my cheek area me from too. where I get dry, especially this time of year, like change of season. Yeah. And I feel like that really helps it as well. It just For kind sure. of helps soothe that irritation and um, redness. I brought the Big Soon one and I brought the Oxygen Sudoku one. You can actually use whatever you can find on Amazon or whatever um, you want. Mm -hmm. These are so good and they're actually packaged separately. So I feel like the, the big ones, they're cheaper, but I feel like um, it does get oxidized a little bit because you have to open mm. it and you have to like lock it in really well. But this one's packaged perfectly. That's like a one-time use. Use. Last but not least. Mm -hmm. Very important. I think this is something that is the most talked about like category of product <laughs> on social media these oh days, my right? Gosh. Sunscreen, sunscreen. Totally. Yeah. Which one did you ring? I won't be DJ. BOJ. Okay. <laughs> Sun care is having its day yeah. at the moment. For sure. For good reason. For sure. And <laughs> finally. And you know those pictures that you see like of someone that didn't apply their sunscreen oh my on God, your the neck. neck? I was like, wowzers. Apply your skincare to your neck For area, sure. guys. For sure. Sun care is so important. And I wanted to mention this too. You start getting wrinkles on areas that you didn't before. You're like, oh my gosh. Not even just on your face, but I started getting wrinkles on this area, babe. Oh, just the like way that, that I... Yeah, this, the way that I sleep. I will wake up in the morning and I was like, what the F is that? <laughs> like, I got so shocked because I never had wrinkles on my cleavage or chest, right? And you would see that sometimes on TV and you're like, how do you get wrinkles on your cleavage ar area, right? Mm. You freaking get wrinkles on your cleavage area. You do really have to wear sunscreens. Yeah. And you have to protect your skin from the sun. I think that's like the number one best anti-aging tip you can do. And for sure. I'm for like, sure. I, so I've been studying um, for a degree in cosmetic science right, recently. Right. Girl, and there's, yeah. This girl's a superwoman, by the way. <laughs> Taking care of her e-commerce, her company, everything, and always learning, okay? Yeah, I, right. yeah, I just wanted oh. to learn more. Yeah. But a huge chapter module in it was around aging mm -hmm. and the importance of 
sun protection. Right. Because you have intrinsic aging. That's a natural process. Yeah. You know, we're going to see decrease in collagen. You're going to see decrease in moisture levels, fine wrinkles. That's common for everyone. Right. But with photo aging. Yeah with sun damage it just accelerates this whole process mm -hmm. much quicker even in your 20s you can experience early signs of photo aging for sure it can have long-term effects and damage your um cells dna underneath as well mm. you can do skin cancers melanomas etc as well so it's so important like yeah. i know we bang on about sun cream yeah <laughs> But for good reason. For good reason. <laughs> and I feel like um, just overall though, if you can actually apply sunscreen every single day, if you can manage to reapply two, three times a day, that would be amazing. Please, you guys, please use sunscreens. Things I wish I knew in my 20s. Ah! Exactly. Yeah, reapply that sunscreen. Reapply that sunscreen. And especially on your hands too and other parts that is exposed, I think. Yeah. And um, speaking of, I thought we are actually done with all the things mm. that we brought today. So we hope that you guys enjoyed. And I love the fact that you mentioned that. Things that you wish you knew in your 20s. Maybe we could talk about a few more like by ending the video. But just, it doesn't have to be only skincare. It could be body-wise or just like mental-wise, whatever. Just anything that you want to just have it out there for our younger brothers and sisters. I think for me, I think it's really easy, especially if you consume a lot of content, which is why I kind of mentioned my skin type before. Yeah. And so many trends, especially mm. in the you know world of K-beauty. Yeah. And I think I definitely fell short of that because I wanted to be like, oh yeah, I've seen that and I really want it and I really like it. Yeah. And then it's, well, it's an influencer that had oily skin. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> that which has is like nothing to, to like, do with the exactly. dry skin type. Mm. And um, I think... Yeah, just not being so reactive and impulsive and actually just like thinking, being a bit yeah. more like considerate about what my skin needs yeah. and, you know, also be more considerate about what I'm buying yeah. and taking the time to like learn about ingredients. I think that's the basis that is so great to create any skincare routine. Yeah. I think aside from that, just like in general, I think about how much I like worried about what other people thought in my 20s yeah. and took things to heart, like yeah. so sensitive about things and worried about the future. Right, right, right. And like, Murray in her 30s is just like, nah. Yeah, I love that, Murray. <laughs> and I'm just I like, love that. I just yeah. wish I could tell my younger self, like, just don't worry. Yeah. Like, everything will work out. For sure. You know? And I love that you mentioned, because you know how when you watch like Sex and the City, Everyone yeah. just is so like, they're so comfortable in their own skin. Yeah. I feel like they already know who they are, mm -hmm. are and they just know what they like or they know what they don't like. They know what they could tolerate and yeah. that, what they can't. And I felt like, I don't know, but I know what you're saying. Like, I know mm -hmm. I would love to go back into my 20s and teen age, like physically, <laughs> but I never want to freaking go no. back mentally. That's... That's exactly it. I yeah. know my boundaries more. Exactly. I think. And we were talking about how we really try to have a good relationship with ourselves. Like we, yes. like, we try to like ourselves. And I yeah. feel like I love that you mentioned that in the beginning of how you feel more confident in your skin now. Because mm. that's how I definitely feel. And I know that it's, it's not just with aging that it will come. It will come in different ways. I think you could find that somehow in your little own ways. Yeah. But definitely if I could compare and if I could talk Tell, tell my 20 year old mm. uni anything is that it will be okay yeah and that um it's it's not that bad in your 30s and you know yes. what we're right on 40s too right yeah it's so true everyone was like oh my god 30 like yeah. it seemed like such a big deal turning 30 yeah. and then it kind of happened and like nothing had really nothing changed. really <laughs> happened and i we were talking about how we are so happy these days mm. like with our work or with where we're at in our lives with our like uh, husbands who are both yeah. married and like work-life balance mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah and i think in our your 20s that's where like everything's so unsure and i know that you're so passionate about one yeah. thing you have other... you're trying to prove yourself yeah. as well i think yeah and, and i love that motivation i love that passion but sometimes it can be so burdensome yeah so we just want to say hang in there like you know yeah. you're doing a great job and and look forward to your 30s yeah <laughs> and you can get all sarah <laughs> There are good things that can happen in your 30s. <laughs> you might 
like hurt a little bit in ligament wise and yeah. neck wise you might get sore and puffy a little bit because of lack of blood circulation but it's all good in the hood <laughs> really selling it oh, <laughs> love it oh marie thank you so much for oh, hanging out with no, me thank you it's always so much fun hanging i out with you. know i think uh we see each other every time marie yeah. visits korea but every time it's just like a very small bonding experience yeah and the time is so short but it's always good quality time i, I know feel like as so. soon as we meet each other like <laughs> <laughs> oh so thank you so much for being on my channel today. Thanks for having me. And also, I'm gonna give you like a 30 second promo thing to promote your. <laughs> because I'm not so bad at this. Yes. Stuff. No, no. But my unicorns from Europe and from England, they they would love to have a site mm. that really um loves K beauty and has good selection of curations. So yeah. please, let's let's. Yeah. So we're Beauty and Soul. We're an online store curating some of my favorite skincare products. I began Beauty and Soul because myself, I'm a Korean adoptee, and I discovered the world of K beauty on my first trip back to my motherland, South Korea, about eight years ago. And uh, for me, Beauty and Soul, I just want it to feel like a friend is recommending her favorite products, yeah. and that's what I've tried to instill on our website and our community. Yeah, so, yeah. and you could really feel that. Like she has really good re relationships with all the brands directly. I know yeah. how thorough you are when you're picking your brands and each product. Yeah. So I love your curation, what's on your site, and I feel like my unicorns will also love it too. Mm. So thank you so much. And next time we'll we'll see you guys at Olive Young probably again. Uh, <laughs> all right. So we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to follow Murray. She has her own YouTube. YouTube channel and her Instagram. We will leave everything in the description below. So please do check it out. Thank you. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.